Hey guys, happy new year. I hope you're all doing well and that your year is off to a great start. Um, just wanted to hop on with a market update. I actually just listened to a really good economic update from Barry Habib, and I wanted to share a few of his predictions. I left feeling more optimistic than I have been about the market. He thinks he has a lot of reasons to believe that inflation is going to go down and mortgage rates will follow. So in the next six months or so, we'll see rates back around 5%. And that will bring more buyers into the market or back into the market and will drive prices up a little bit. He doesn't think that the feds are going to do another large hike, maybe a quarter to a half of a point. So really right now is a unique opportunity to secure a house you want and negotiate whatever concessions are best for you. Most likely a rate buy down for the first year or two. And then lots of lenders I know will refinance for very low cost in the next one to three years. And we can lock in that lower rate for the life of the loan. Otherwise, last month in Austin, we are seeing year over year prices go down. So that doesn't mean that they're falling like crazy. They are dropping a little compared to last year. And December was the second month in a row of dipping prices. But you Year over year, you know, we were seeing a little bit of an anomaly, a crazy year. So looking back year over year, I think we will continue to see prices at a more reasonable number this year. We have a little fewer houses on the market than we had last month. It went from 3.9 months of inventory to 3.6. So not a huge difference. We're still seeing many more withdrawn listings than we have in a while. So basically super strong Q1 and Q2 um, and a slow Low Q3 and Q4 made up for it last year. So we're kind of back to where we were. The question on everybody's mind is, is this the bottom of the market? And we'll have a better idea this spring when we see how buyer demand looks, how strong, how weak, like during the peak season. Um, the number of contracts fell by 22% year over year, which is great. Last month it was 50%. So it's exciting and kind of reassuring us that there's more demand in the market. But typically seasonally, December is a pretty slow month for contracts. So it'll be interesting to see what happens in the next few months. So what does all this mean for you? If you're a buyer, you're in a pretty good spot. You still have a lot of leverage. There's not a ton on the market, but there's a lot more than we've had in the past couple of years. So there are homes to choose from. I know mortgage rates seem high compared to the last few years, but they're not crazy high. They're not even high if you look at the big historical picture. So now and during 2023 is a great time to buy if it makes sense for you. We don't expect any huge changes next year or like throughout the year, but it's a great opportunity to buy. If you're a seller, we don't know exactly what the spring will look like, but it'll be a lot better than it has been in the past few months for sellers. So more buyers will enter or re-enter the market, and we don't anticipate just a ton of sellers entering the market. So seasonally, spring is typically the best time to sell. And we don't expect huge changes for next year either, if you have flexibility. But whatever happens this spring is typically a great time to sell. What do we think is going to happen in the future? I mean, as always, it depends on interest rates. So interest rates will drive the real estate market. It looks like we're kind of getting inflation under control, and we're going to have a pretty decent year. And again, I'm feeling more optimistic than I have. And if Barry Habib's predictions are right, inflation's going to slow down, mortgage rates are going to slow down and get back around 5% this year, more buyers are going to come back into the market. And I really think that, again, it's a unique window and opportunity right now. I'm having fun negotiating all kinds of deals for my buyers and to get the house you want at the price you want right now is awesome. We can negotiate the rate down for a year or two now. And then after you refinance and lock it in, you'll be in good shape. Please let me know if you guys have any questions at all. The ideal timing for you totally, it just depends on your specific situation and your goals. I'd love to chat and brainstorm about your options, the pros and cons, your timing, all of that. So let us know if there's anything we can do and have a great January. Mm -hmm.